Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm going to be sharing with you today our one-night comp stay at Bellagio Las Vegas. This is not my first stay at the Bellagio, and it certainly will not be my last. It's one of my favorite places to stay. I absolutely love it here. Walking in, you get that instant, ah, it smells amazing. It's just beautiful. Our one-night stay was very early September 2023. It was still decorated for summertime in the conservatory and all around. I'm here today with my cousin Anita. She is actually the one that got the free comp night at the Bellagio. Check-in was very smooth, very painless. You could check in right on your phone and you don't even need to go to the reception desk area. You could use your phone as a room key. It's amazing. A couple days later, that was not the case. <laughs> I came to visit because they had the little cyber crash problem thing going on. Most people were canceling their trips and running away. I was pretty much running towards it because I wanted to see what the heck was going on. I guess it's the reporter in me. Uh, pretty much there was a line for everything. These poor people working at MGM properties really had quite a surprise and uh, they handled it very well. Within that time too, the conservatory was changing from summer to fall theme. I was a little disappointed not to be able to see the beautiful mother nature theme again, but it was so cool to see the transitioning, how much work goes into this. It's unbelievable. From what I hear and what I've been told, the MGM properties are all functioning properly again. No big lines anymore. That is extremely good news. The conservatory fall harvest theme is now open till November 4th, and then we'll close and set up for Christmas, which will open November 11th. Okay, it's time to go check in. You guys want to go see a room at Bellagio? If you have the MGM app, you will get a notification when your room is ready, and you could go right there with your phone. You'll receive a QR code that will allow you to access the elevators and will open your door to your room. If you prefer physical keys, you would have to go to the kiosk or the front desk to get them printed. Our room was on floor 28. If you want something specific, if you want an upgrade, you know, you would have to go to the desk to ask for that. We just were here for one night. We're like, we will take what we get and we won't be upset. As I'm chatting, I'm just showing you like the hallways and the lighting and everything. And Bellagio is so perfect. It is so beautiful. Like I just absolutely love the hallways in the Bellagio. I was in Las Vegas for three weeks and I think I stayed in about 13 different resorts and this definitely had the best hallways. The Bellagio is not the most expensive place in Las Vegas, but it is pretty pricey. So I was very grateful that Anita had a comp room. Come join us for the room tour. And after this, we're gonna be going to check out the pool. This room had two queen beds, it had a small table, small chair, armchair. It was pretty nice. It was it was large. Like I said, it wasn't a suite, it wasn't anything fancy, it wasn't remodeled, but it wasn't bad. There was just no like wow factor. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. It had the stocked refrigerator, but it also had a shelf for personal items. The furniture, again, nothing fancy, but everything was in working order. There is snacks. Be careful if you don't know this. Even if you pick up the snacks and you look at the ingredients and stuff, you may get charged for them, and they're very overpriced. I just like to warn people about that because a lot of people don't know. I really love the bathroom. I thought it was very bright, very big. They had robes for you to wear. You could purchase them if you want to. Had all the little extras, like the double sinks. I like the little two, like the little rugs in the bathroom. I'm not a huge rug fan in hotels, but that was a nice touch. Had wine glasses, things like that. The view, it was okay. It wasn't great. We're looking right at Caesar's Palace right over there. Obviously, the best views from Bellagio would be of the strip and the fountains. Now I want to share with you another thing that I absolutely adore about the Bellagio, the outdoor pool area. It is gorgeous and it's not very bougie. It's really friendly and cool. I walked in about a half hour after it opened. First you're going to see towels and a gift shop. We're going to do a walk around. I'm going to show you what the pools look like and the cabanas. There are a ton of free chairs as well and no matter where you sit there's a Servers that come around and ask you if you want beverages or food, but there is a pool cafe as well. I did dine there last time for breakfast and I really enjoyed it. The food was really good and it really wasn't too expensive. There are many different pools at the Bellagio rather than one humongous pool. It was really nice. Some I think you have to pay more for. I really didn't get a chance to talk to an attendant to find out about pricing. I was very impressed with these pavilions. They were probably the size of most hotel rooms. They were huge and very, they had a lot of wow factor. Only thing that may be a problem is they're set so far away from a lot of the things, but that could be very good for people too. I kind of like that. I kind of like to be set back a little bit 
and be able to walk wherever I want to go rather than to be in the center of all the madness. But as you can see, the morning I was there, there was no madness happening anywhere. It was a very quiet, very beautiful morning in Las Vegas at the Bellagio. Is the Bellagio one of your favorite resorts and resort pools? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. We are now taking a look at Cyprus. This is an adults only area. The Cypress Pool is also open in winter as well as two lap pools at the Bellagio. There are five pools altogether. Three of them are open in the winter. You can find and rent a private cabana in Cypress area as well. If you're planning on traveling to Las Vegas in the winter and you're new to Las Vegas and you don't know, it gets very cold there. It could actually drop down below freezing. So not all pools are open in the winter. So if swimming is something that's important to you, make sure you find out if the resort you want to stay at has a pool that's open in the winter season. They have several hot tubs as well. One thing the Bellagio does not have is a party pool. I don't know if that's good or bad for you. You know, if you want that day club kind of experience, they don't have that here. This is much more of a spa-like experience. Now I'm gonna take you back inside and show you more of the beautiful Bellagio. I have not personally stayed at every single resort in Las Vegas. I do plan on it though. <laughs> my ultimate goal but this is one of my favorites so far I've had a hell of a week so far I've been filming and editing non-stop so I'm gonna be taking tonight off I'm gonna play some slots and grab a bite to eat with my cousin and I'm gonna be filming very early in the morning there are many great opportunities to dine in the Bellagio we're just getting a light bite at a place it's a takeout place called snacks and that's exactly what it was we just got sweet potato fries and a hot dog called it an early night get up super early and show you around it's about 5 5 30 in the morning it's the best time to go see the conservatory i did make an entire video about that i will link that at the end of this video if you want to see more of what that is like i always like to walk around in the morning it's very peaceful but it's very lively the music's playing there's people a lot of people checking out going to the airport there's a lot of people cleaning you don't you feel pretty safe i like to go see what's open for breakfast you could have breakfast here i've yet to go there for breakfast but this looks so beautiful for a very special occasion you can make a reservation at the garden table you would be dining right in the gazebo in the conservatory how cool is that I wasn't sure how I was gonna love the summer conservatory, but I ended up falling madly in love with it. Mother Nature was beautiful. Now this next part is gonna be especially good for anybody that's new to Las Vegas and has no idea where anything is and what would be the best location to stay. The Bellagio is in a fantastic location. This is a fantastic place to watch the fountain show, by the way. <laughs> Only problem, and it's a good thing, is it's far from the Strip. It's got this beautiful lake in between. So, you know, if you're someone that wants to run in and out and go to the strip all the time, you're going to have a little bit of a walk. But with that being said, it's awesome that it's not right on the strip. You know, it's kind of a little more removed. Let's talk now about some of Bellagio's neighbors. You have Paris that's right across the street. Next to Paris, you can find Planet Hollywood in the Miracle Mile shops. Right next door to the Bellagio, you can find the Cosmo, the Cosmopolitan. There is a look at the High Roller. It's in walking distance. It's not really close, but you could walk there. The Lake Promenade, where the High Roller is one of my must-sees in Las Vegas every time I go. I really love it there. On the other side of the Bellagio, you can find Caesar's Palace. I know it's extremely difficult getting up so early in the morning, but don't miss out on the opportunity to go see Vegas super early in the morning. Or maybe it's very late at night. You could still be awake from the night before. Now we're taking a walk in front of the Bellagio Fountains. This is where everybody stands and sees the big show. They're now setting up for F1. Formula One is gonna be here in November and it's gonna be a little bit different for a little while, but hopefully everything will be back to normal by December. Across Las Vegas Boulevard, you can find a CVS. Always try to stay near a CVS, a Walgreens, or an ABC store. You will thank me later. Everything in Las Vegas resorts are a lot more expensive than you think they're going to be. All right, we already walked past the fountains. There is another side entrance that's closer to Caesars that we're walking in now. It has a Starbucks down here and an escalator that takes you up to, it's a mall, but it's not your typical mall. It's gonna be more bougie, kind of more, you know, upscale type stores. 
up this way also. I'll be showing you the restaurants that have views of the fountains. Take note here, I'm gonna be walking by, showing you the names of these places to see if there's anything that interests you. These are fantastic places to go if you're interested in having a dinner by the fountains. In my experience, if you make a reservation, right when it opens, you have a best chance of getting a seat right by the fountains. We did last time in March, like I was here with my daughter, Sky. I made a full video about my resort stay with her, as well as our magnificent dinner at Lago. We had the most amazing seats. I just checked, this shopping district is called Via Bellagio, and there is 27 stores. This is where you'd see some of the fountain restaurants and then you'd approach the casino. If you take a left, you're gonna be seeing more of the restaurants. It's sort of like, it kind of hugs around the lake. I gotta say it, this part of the Bellagio reminds me so much of the Borgata in Atlantic City with the tuft walls. It's just, I don't know, when I'm walking around here, I kind of think I'm back in the Borgata for some reason. But I guess that makes sense. They're both MGM properties, but they are definitely a good comparison. Here is a look into Lago where I had dinner with my daughter in March. because it's so early in the morning, it's easy for me to film without people there, but it's hard for me to get in. But there was somebody cleaning in that Mayfair Supper Club that let me in to take a couple pictures. I was so grateful. This place is beautiful. I'm starting to get hungry though. It's about eight, eight o'clock in the morning, probably at this point, but I had already filmed the conservatory. Like I said, that's another whole video. You know, I've been walking around for three hours already. I'm usually do probably about five to 10 miles a day <laughs> when I'm in Las Vegas. When I'm going, when I go home, my fitness app is like, what are you doing? <laughs> get up and move. I really wanna go grab a coffee, but I wanna show you guys something first. I probably shouldn't be showing this, but this is a lovely place to go get a wonderful view of the conservatory. Across the conservatory, that's where you're gonna find the spa. There's a hair salon and a fitness center. So if you come up here to use the fitness center, you get this beautiful view along the way. Very beautiful. And did I tell you how wonderful this place smells? <laughs> the, the Bellagio sort of reminds me of the Grand Floridian and Disney World, if anybody knows what that is like. When you walk in there, it just feels very special. See, I came up here to use the fitness center, wink, wink. <laughs> I might as well like show you guys what it looks like while we're up here. I probably should stay and go to the fitness center, but I really want to go get a coffee instead. Where do you like to enjoy breakfast when you go to the Bellagio? Now I'm thinking, should I go wake up Anita and go for breakfast or should I go film? I'm going to finish my filming. Here's a look at the hair salon in the Bellagio. I always thought I would want to do that one day. I've been in the hair industry for over 30 years, but now I'm just like, nah, I just want to film the Bellagio. I don't want to do hair there. <laughs> one of my favorite to go to's early in the morning at the Bellagio is the patisserie. First of all, they have a chocolate fountain <laughs> and the food is really good and it's really fresh. Everything from gelatos to pastries to cupcakes to they have muffins and these coffee cakes that are to die for sandwiches salads they had they have everything it's such a hard decision but i always end up with the coffee cake because it's just so good the patisserie is quick serve you go to the counter you order they hand you whatever you order and then you go find somewhere to sit it is not a dine-in type of situation also do not forget if you are using a player's card at mgm and you're putting it in the slot machine, make sure you give it to your server, or if you're buying something, or if you're going to a place like the patisserie, make sure you get your points, because they add up, and you can get future comps and future comp rooms. Found myself a little beautiful couch to sit back and relax and enjoy my coffee and crumb cake. Looking for a quiet place to sit, you can find a lot of seating over by where the conference centers are. Down this way, you will also find the tram that will take you over to the Aria and Park MGM. Another fabulous place that you could have breakfast at the Bellagio is the buffet. 
It is a brunch buffet and it's a little pricey, but it is really good. I have a full video of that. I will link that at the end of this video if you would like to check out to see what the buffet is like. Well, I hope you enjoy the tour of the Bellagio in Las Vegas, one of my favorite places today. Hands down, I love it here. We're heading back to the Marriott Grand Chateau, another amazing place. I'll have a video of that coming up very soon. Thank you very much for hanging out with me and my cousin Anita. I'm gonna leave a playlist on the left-hand side. It's gonna be of all the resorts that I stayed in in Las Vegas. So if you're new to Las Vegas and you have no idea where you wanna stay, definitely check that out. I'll also leave my buffet video and the video of the conservatory. But whatever you do, make sure you book that trip and you go. Las Vegas is awesome. Be well to yourself, be kind to others, safe travels to you, and good luck in the casinos.